here with tennis coach Jeff Halbert. Coach, beginning of the conference season has been kind of a, a little bit of a running into the buzzsaw in that you've played two of the very top teams in the conference in Carleton and St. Sure. Thomas. What do you take out of matches like that, even though you don't come away with a win? Uh, well, it, it kind of shows the guys where we want to try and be going towards, you know. Um, it's not that, you know, we'll, we'll catch them short term, but uh, it does give the guys a great deal of experience. And um, there was a lot of positives to take from it. I mean, obviously, Mike did get a win at number one singles, uh, a fantastic win against their Division One transfer. Um, so it was a great win for Mike. Um, the double scores, I mean, you know, yeah, they swept us in doubles. Every doubles match was a very good match. I mean, it was really, really well contested. And it actually gave us some real confidence going forward. I think they were like, you know what? We can beat some good teams here because St. Thomas was really good because they were good last year and they're better this year. And on and the yet, women's side, obviously, uh, you know, same thing where it was really a match looking at the scores that probably could have easily gone either way. It really was. Actually, ironically, it was probably early in the match that was the big swing. Uh, we had a, uh, a second doubles went to four all and had ten deuces for the that 5-4 that game. Um, so we had points and it was just kind of a, one of those things where it was kind of a blow to the team when we ended up finally losing the game. And we just didn't recover. Well, if we'd gotten that point, I think it might have given the, the ladies a little more confidence going into the singles. Because knowing they had to get four points, it almost felt like it was almost a little too far. They never gave in, though. I, 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 I really, I mean, you could have seen it when you saw them walk off the court. I don't know if I've ever seen my players so exhausted at the end of a match. They tried so hard to get back into the match. And, uh, you know, though it didn't work, I couldn't, I couldn't fault their efforts. They really put it, on, put it out there, so. Back, uh, back in conference play on Friday, you get to be home for the first time this year, which obviously is a nice thing. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about the importance of playing at the at the Winona Tennis Center for your teams. Well, you know, we obviously we practice and play there. Uh, we're familiar with it. Um, we've had good a good record there, um, and it's just a great venue to play. Um, it's great for uh, the players. It's great for the fans because it's you know great seating and visibility and things. So we've always had a nice nice atmosphere at the matches, and of course. You know, I'll, I'll always take people coming to me than having to get off a bus and trying to play, and you know, after a little while, you know, to get over your bus legs and stuff. I mean, it's always nice to be home. So. Talk a little bit about Friday's matches against St. Olaf. Obviously, a, another conference opponent. You had a real, a real battle with them on the guys' side last year with a 5-4 win, and mm -hmm. and uh, they're a very talented team on the women's side as well. Talk about what you expect for Friday. Well, I honestly, the the men's match is a 50-50 match. It's really who wants it more. Um, I think that they they have they are just as good as last year. They're a very solid team, um, and and I certainly know that they would like to have a little revenge for for the uh, match we pulled on them last year. Um, but I think we're a better team than last year. Uh, we have a little more depth uh, and just frankly just a little more experience. So uh, we wanna we wanna prove to them that that wasn't a fluke that we uh, were for real. And I think that we have a very good chance of doing that. Um, but you know again you got to put it on the floor. Um, same thing with uh, the ladies. Um, the challenge with us with their team is they're a very deep team in singles, especially doubles. They're good. I mean, you, you know, we can't take them lightly. But singles, they're a very steady team. So we've I and mean, we've got to come out ready to fight and earn points from the from the beginning because it's uh, it's not going to be short points. It's going to be long, you know, long patient work uh, that has to go in to, to get the wins. For the guys, Friday is just the beginning of a very long weekend. You hit the road on Saturday. You go to uh, to take on Milwaukee School of Engineering and Concordia, Wisconsin on Saturday. And then you play Carroll on Sunday. Going to be a very busy weekend for the guys. It is, it is. And I'm actually, I'm really excited about the matches because I know that MSOE is up from last year. We beat them last year, but they weren't a bad team last year. I mean, the, the score was a bit of a lie. We beat them 9-0, but uh, actually most of the matches were actually quite close. Um, and I know that they have improved their squad. They're actually deeper, so uh, they're going to be ready to try and get a little revenge on on, uh, on what we pulled on them last year. So um, Concordia, they're, I think they were second in the conference last year in their conference. They were conference champions three times in a row before that. I mean, they're always tough. Uh, Concordia always feels a good team. And then Carroll has actually been on, really on the up. Um, a few years back when we played them, frankly, it wasn't that tight a match. But I do not take them lightly anymore. They, they really have a talented squad, uh, and I'm looking forward to watching them play. So. Busy weekend starts on Friday at home against St. Olaf. Good luck. Thanks so much.